righty, Sharp Customs. Here we are in the shop. I know it's been a while. Yeah, I know. It's sad. We should have been putting out more content in the last 12 days, but, uh, you know, shit happens. We, we get busy. We don't think about it. Uh, sometimes we're just doing the same mundane stuff over and over, and I don't want to bore my subscribers, my viewers with that crap. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers that have just recently subscribed. And of course, thank you to the family, all the subscribers. Um, I believe one of our last videos, uh, I worked on my old, like, 50-year-old tire machine. I did get my wheels on. That tire machine works awesome, by the way. Um, I did want to show a video of the tire machine working, and I should have done that. Uh, because it works awesome now it actually works better than it should work because now the cylinder is working so good the lower foot when it pushes up on the tire and the upper foot comes down it's like they're both meeting in one kind of you know kind of uh, uh, it deletes the other one and it's like so you can break the bottom bead but you can't break the top bead because the bottom one's pushing up so far now because the cylinder's all cleaned out that it don't allow the top one to come down and break the bead on the tire. And that depends on, obviously, the width of the tire. Yeah, kind of crazy, but we came up with a little solution for that and we just put a piece of square tube underneath the bottom foot so it can't come, yeah, can't come all the way up. I'd love to show it. Maybe I will. But uh, we did all our tires. We did Camera Girl. We did her tires. She had crappy old tires on these nice rims. Obviously, they don't look nice. They need a good cleaning. Uh, they are American racing wheels. Uh, but the tires that are on there now, they're, uh, they're, they're almost like brand new. Uh, you know, she'd like bigger, fatter ones on the back. I got, so the ones I took off this truck, which were old Mickey Thompson's, I'll pull this fender off, I got the, uh, I got the, the fresher rubber on there, as you can see, on the drag light rims, Just set that fender there, and of course the old rubber uh, that I took off of the Pro Stars. Um, I'd show you the front ones, but I got that, those pieces of sheet metal sitting there. So this set here, these are the Pro Stars that had the rubber on them. I just slapped the old rubber on these Pro Stars. They were sitting outside. I got to give them a little bit of a bath tomorrow. Uh, they, they're for sale. I've got the skinnies. Skinnies on the front ones, 5 inch rims, 12 inch rims, uh, small Chevy bolt pattern, 5, uh, 475 bolt pattern. Um, they're for sale, got them on Marketplace. Uh, enough about those. I like a nice set of wheels though, you know. Uh, got some. Got a couple sheets. Got a couple sheets of uh, 18 gauge. Cause both of us, camera girl, myself, she's got to build a tunnel over the transmission in her truck. Uh, and then when we eventually get the box on her truck, uh, she's gonna have to do some sheet metal work inside the box of her truck. Like my truck, I still have some sheet metal work to do in the box once I get all the rust the surface rust cleaned out and you know get the frame painted up and it'll probably be uh, probably be cheap stuff you know we'll probably use the uh, you know my poor man's pour which is trim clad with a little bit of automotive hardener works great uh, maybe I'll blow the budget and I'll rocker guard the inside of the box. Probably not. Probably not. But uh, we've been busy. 
We've been busy, had to pull this old dog, this old press. Had to bring her in out of the tent. I had a couple of, uh, I don't know what you would really call them. I guess you would call them, uh, you know, most of the cars that I work on and I change people's front, uh, you know, wheel bearings. It's kind of a one piece unit. It's pretty simple. You know, 20 minutes or so you can have one out and have the other one back in. I uh, had to use the press to do, an, I guess you would call it an old school bearing because this particular car I worked on, it was like you couldn't get a replacement hub. You actually had to pull the spindle off, you know, press the, bear, press the hub out, press the bearing out, you know, press it back in, put it all back together. So, did a couple of those, so we had to pull this in. Um, you know, this thing, this press doesn't get used much. But I'm telling you, when you need one, it's sure nice to have. Now, this thing might sit for two, three, four, maybe six months. But when you want to press something, it's nice to have it kicking around. I'd love to have it here in the shop somewhere. Obviously, you can see that the walls, the space is pretty congested. Aside of doing that kind of stuff... Camera girl's also been picking away at her truck. She's uh, got her power steering pump installed. Needs a little fine tuning. Uh, obviously, she had to make uh, custom brackets because we're using the sh uh, you know short water pump. It's like a Corvette water pump. Um, obviously, that's what the engine came out of a Corvette. Um, so, you know, alternators been, brackets have been modified, uh, you know, you got to kind of squoosh everything back, make it all fit, make your belts and pulleys and all that jazz line up. Oh, look at this, look at this, watch this, look at this. So, you got to see this guy, oh, you got to see this guy quite a while ago. Uh, it's been almost four weeks, this Sunday will be four weeks. So, we have picked a name for him. This is Max. We call him Max. Here you go, Max. Here you go. Here you go, Max. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Now, I don't know if the people on the video can see, but he has grown substantially in almost the last, uh, almost four weeks. I think when I first... When he first had his uh, video debut, yeah, he's a, he's a bit of a biter. You know, he's still a baby. He's like 12 weeks now, and he loves to chew. He loves to bite, you know. Got to keep him aware of that. He'll grow out of it. But uh, so far, he has been an awesome little addition to Sharp Customs family. Uh, very quiet, very playful. Uh, very friendly, uh, very, uh, you know, in tune to all the noise that goes on here. You know, we do grinding, we do cutting, we have compressors going. You know, everything we do, man, this, this guy is so great. He just lays over there on his box. He sleeps. Uh, but we picked Max. I think it was a drunken thing. Maybe. Not sure. No, maybe not. But, Max goes a long way. See, right now, right now, you know, he's being a little devious. You know, he's wanting to chew on my hands. My hands are pretty tough. He doesn't really, uh, he doesn't really bother me. He has pierced my skin with his little needle teeth. Hey, be nice. Be nice. Be a nice boy. Yeah, be a nice boy. But we picked Max because Max goes a long way. We've got Maximus. We've got Mad Max. We've got Maximum Overdrive. We've got Maximilian. You know, and when he's acting stupid, we call him Max Hedrum. If anybody remembers that crap from MTV. But, uh, yeah, so Max is kind of... Uh, it's kind of an all-around, it goes a long way. But that's his debut. 
I, I said I was going to keep this video. I said to camera girl, I said, yeah, we need to do some content. We're going to do a little short video. But I can already see that uh, that might be going south. So I'm going to stop playing with this little guy. He got his debut. Oh, by the way, since we got him just under four weeks ago, this little sucker has gained 10 pounds. That's like, you know, three plus pounds per week yeah I'm hoping he stays small you know uh, just under 100 pounds but uh, he had his little visit to the vet today got his needles you think he'd be sleeping from his needles but no he wants to play but uh, I'm gonna carry on with the video he'll he'll probably just chew on my boot laces uh, while I'm doing the video. So uh yeah, see look at hey. Eh? Yeah, he'll you know he he'll he'll bugger off. He'll bugger off. I don't got no more treats in my pocket. He likes to eat. And and he likes beer. He's a beer dog. I don't we don't give him too much yet though. He's still a little small. But anyhow, let's move forward. Let's move forward. So as you can see, in this, we uh, recreated our little booth here. Uh, new exhaust vent and a new uh, a new fan, not so loud. Uh, basically, this just you know, if you're working on, if you're painting something small, airbrushing, um, it's kind of a neat little thing. We can tear it down, get it out of here if we need to. Uh, but it's nice when you're fiberglassing because, you know, fiberglass vapor, especially with polyesters, is pretty strong. And this kind of pulls it, it pulls it all out. You can sit here and you can work apart and you can not get too stoned. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You don't, you don't get stoned. This, this fan here, this little exhaust system works great. And by the way, this is number eight. And I'm going to tell you right now, camera girl is working this one. Not moi. She's, she prepped the parts. She, she waxed the parts. She puttied the parts. Uh, she gel coated the parts. We've got a part up here too, okay. center section. PVA. She's got to finish that. Uh, she PVA'd it before she gel coated. Um... Uh, she did the angel hair, or the, the five ounce, two layers. Uh, she's putting in the cloth tonight. And uh, so, yeah. So to, you know, the viewers and the quarter scale guys, whoever gets number eight, just remember, she wanted to take a crack at this. And she's learning. She's learning that uh, it takes patience, you know, you have to, you have to keep your cool. You have to relax. You got to kind of take your time, and she's and she's learning that. You know, I've I've done many. I did the trucks. I do. I've done, you know, seven cars now. I kind of got it all figured out. I'm I can whiz through it pretty fast. But she's learning. She's learning that it's not that easy. It's, you know, I make it look easy because, yeah, I do it all the time. You know, I could pull, I could do two of these suckers a week, but, you know, um, hey, everybody got to learn something new sometime. So, I have number two GT40, quarter scale, and I'm going to pull it down for you, and we're just going to have a quick little look at it. We'll, uh... I'm going to put this little stool up here. I use this. Look at, look at, check this out. So this is the, this is the 3D print I use to make the molds. It's a nice little stool. See that? Look, you can rotate it. You know, when you're working on it, spraying it, painting it, whatever, you know. So basically, we had this on the chassis. You watched the video where I ran it. Um, it's pretty freaking heavy with all the, the lumber and I put some fiberglass in it. And uh, basically it's 
kind of a relic now, you know. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. I actually wanted to, you know, put some fireworks in it and drive it and blow it up and, I don't know, do something. It's, it was the buck. So, it served its purpose. It'll probably just get stored upstairs and, you know, it'll get covered in dust just like it's doing. Let's pull down this bad boy. This is number two. This was, this was a one-piece bill. The sucker's heavy. We got it on the Super Modified 2 chassis. Uh, this is the paint scheme that I kind of wanted to go with. Uh, just because I know that most of the quarter scale people, uh, if you've watched the movie Ford versus Ferrari, <clears throat> This technically is the first car, or the first GT40, I should say, that Chem Miles won in, which was the uh, 24 Hours of Daytona. And, uh, yeah, I've done a lot of work to this. Uh, the paint, it's not perfect. I don't shoot for perfect because, you know, i got to run this thing. Here, we'll spin her around. We'll spin her around there, camera girl. We'll spin her around. We got the uh, Sharp Customs license plate on there. <laughs> yeah, everything, everything's been basically what's on this has been painted. Now the wheels, I want to go with the traditional looking wheels. I'll show you one. So here's a traditional. This is from a smaller model. It's kind of a bronze gold with the chrome knockoffs. And I want to do a, a rim similar to that. And the idea is, now this, this, this is not the color. This is not the color, but this is one of these rims. This is not the color. See, it doesn't, doesn't quite match. I just didn't have the right colors here to kind of get the, you know, the bronze gold look. But the idea is to 3D print some inserts that we'll press in here, get glued in. You know, with the dish, with this style, and do the rims like that. I think it will look pretty cool. Um, yeah, did a lot of work on this. The uh, the Rayco Modified 2 chassis, Super Modified 2 chassis. Uh, the front wheels actually stuck an inch out past these. Uh, I can talk a little bit more about the body. So it's plexiglass. It was clear and all I did was I cut them today. I actually put these in today. They're, uh, they're dry now. Uh, basically to get them tinted like that I just took some clear coat. I added just a you know little little splash maybe a half an ounce of black base paint in my clear coat sprayed them up uh, obviously I didn't put plexi in the sides um, and I'll show you why well, I don't know what that was all about but there you go see I can get to the ripper cord I can get my hand in there I can choke it to start it uh, and I can access there's a kill switch right here we're gonna we're gonna pop the top. Why not? Let's pop the top. These are uh, just body body panel clips. Believe it or not, these things are they're pretty strong. I can actually I can actually grab the car here and pick the whole car up. You know, it's uh, 26, 27 pounds. Let's uh, let's pull these out. The front, it's just a, a rubber grommet with a pin, and it just kind of sits on it. I'll show you that. These things are pretty tough. But that's good that they're tough. I have these open spaces. You can see the dual pipes coming out. You'll get to see the uh, muffler I created. These other square holes here, I've actually got, i got to repaint them. got to repaint them. I have grills. They were kind of a coppery color. I should have just left them alone. 
they go in behind they'll get glued in this one's for the front and I've also got I've got two of these little these are these are the tops of carriage bolts believe it or not that's that's how creative I am these are gonna be my uh, I don't, unless I can 3d print or get some 3d print it would just be the uh, the filler caps you know where the fuel tank caps would be but uh, yeah let's pop the top off there we go we'll just set her there hopefully it stays so we got the exhaust tube we've got the muffler now this canister I wanted a muffler I don't like my cars loud uh, because of where I run them this is actually baffled it has a baffle plate inside the tube so that the exhaust here coming in you know has to travel this way through a baffle tube to get to these tubes and it's also uh, packed with steel wool in the bigger chamber uh, the steel wool will eventually you know it'll deteriorate and it will blow out uh, sounds good though sounds good sounds good better than the the can muffler I had just sticking out the back window and basically to make the chassis work with that particular GT40 body I had to move these uh, control arm assemblies which is it's kinda neat because they're all one piece uh, they have the shock and it's literally two bolts through this lower aluminum plate and they were out way out to the edge and I actually moved them inboard one inch both sides put this plate in the center to help support the the flex put another little bar here to attach to this because it did have a little bit of flex uh, forward uh, the super modified Reiko super modified 2 had two servos down here to run this to run the steering I actually opted out uh, for just one readjusted my uh, steering arms and I already took for a test burn thing steers great runs great with that exhaust pipe and uh, yeah does donuts like mad that's all I can say it does donuts like mad so here's the uh, the front pin the front pin basically is just a bolt it's just a bolt I made this little Lexan piece for the front to sit on and basically I can show you on the body basically I just put a it's just a piece of stainless stainless bar with a rubber grommet in it and it just kinda just kinda squeezes down over the pin and it holds it uh, you know holds it centered more or less is it gonna move up and down well you know what uh, I have yet to get to take this with the fresh body and it's not even really finished it still needs uh, I like to finish my projects in you know it's not shiny you can see it's not shiny because I use a uh, flat finish clear coat uh, kind of like it but yeah that comes forward just scooches down and you know there's there's some things I might change I gotta make shields for here for the headlights I'd like to possibly get some 3d printed lights that I could put uh, LEDs in you know for the front run them on a separate battery uh, you know uh, there's a few things I'd like to get 3d printed maybe I'll get my own 3d printer I've been thinking about it I'd like to put the uh, you know the windshield wiper on it make it look uh, as authentic as can be now this one does not look like the Hollywood car from the movie there are differences I actually looked at a lot of pictures of black and white from 1966 from the Daytona 24 hours and yes I noticed a lot of different things that they did in the movies you know in the movie uh, had red wheels don't know what that was about this red dot here 
was actually extended. It came back a lot further. It was twice as long. Um, I actually got some reference pictures, you know, black and white, found a few colors, um, and I did screw up, and I'll show you the screw up. I'm not afraid to, uh, I'm not afraid to show my screw ups. So I had red here on this front corner, and it had these two red dots, and that was just so that the pit crews and people, as far as I know, could identify the car you know, when it come whipping by, they could just pick it out really easy and say, oh, there's, that's our car, you know, that's our car, that's, that's Ken Miles. So, when you look at the pictures of the car in Victory Lane with the reefs on it and then with their champagne bottles and stuff, it did not have red dots on this side of the car, the right side of the car. I didn't realize that until after I researched a little bit more on the pictures, but you know what? They're there. I'm going to go with it. And uh, so there you have it. That's the, uh, this one's mine. This is a one piece body. It's not like the other ones I make uh, where I make them in the five pieces, you know, the front, the center, the back, the sills. Um, I do that strictly for shipping purposes. And uh, this was number two, did it as a one piece knowing, uh, actually no, I didn't, I didn't know that I was going to keep it for my personal uh, quarter scale collection. I was actually going to cut it with a saw, you know, into the, into the three pieces, but decided, yeah, I'll just keep it. I wanted a one piece shell anyway for my chassis because I'm not too worried about uh, you know, I'm not too worried about it sitting on a shelf, just looking pretty. Mine's got to be durable so that I can take it out to a parking lot, a schoolyard, somewhere, you know, do donuts, possibly hit something, you know, because that's, that's what I do with these things, you know. Yes. They do sit up on the shelf, but I can guarantee you this, they do all get used. They get used, not a whole lot, you know, because we spend a lot of time in the shop, but, you know, nice weather's coming. You're going to see a video of this. Don't worry, you will see a video of this. Now, hopefully I don't roll it on its side like the Chevy pickup truck or flip it over or anything like that. kind of want to try and keep this one in you know, decent shape, but if, if it happens, it happens, you know, shit happens, you know, uh, that's just the way we roll at Sharp Customs. So, there you have it, there you have it, you got to see a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you got to see the, uh, you know, our, uh, our new little four-legged friend growing up, and uh, I'm going to try and get more content out there for you. Uh, I'm not going to let it go this long. Promise you that. And uh, going to do some more airbrushing. That's for sure. And uh, till the next video, Sharp Customs, share, like, subscribe. Hope you all comment. Peace. Later.